This, this is, is still, still very strange. strange. Yeah, sorry, bro. What? You have nothing to apologize for, brother. None of this is your fault. It sounds like it was out of your hands. You call me brother. Well, yes, of course. <laughs> so, now I have two brothers. This will be very difficult to explain to everyone. I suppose you and fans will have to explain it for me. I wouldn't know what to say. Perhaps. Yes? I... I won't be going back. What do you mean? I mean, if I leave this place, time will continue for me. I... I'll die, perhaps. I didn't want you to know about that. I didn't want you to know about me. But... Sans... He's just making what I have to do harder. No. Unbearable. I just... Sorry. Please, just never mind. I disagree. Huh? I disagree that you will die. Not sure of how this death thing works, but I have died a whole bunch, right? And the great papyrus returns with each reset, correct? If I can come back, so can you. Bro, I don't really like how casual this conversation about your death is. Also, I think it's more complicated than that. Don't worry! <laughs> the great papyrus will figure it out! Well, before we deal with all that, there are the kids that gotta be dealt with. And they're the ones that hurt everyone. The one that caused the resets. Yeah. I feel kind of sorry for them. Ugh, perhaps. They're pretty young humans, aren't they? That is a lot of power for someone so young. I wouldn't think they'd know how to handle that, you know? I sure don't think I'd be able to. To reset time, to reset outcomes, sounds more like a curse than a blessing. <laughs> I mean, I can see that, bro. You're so cool and smart. I know! But now that the Great Papyrus is here, all these issues will end. You will no longer be alone. These children will stop hurting anyone. <laughs> yes! Through my amazing spaghetti and incredible friendship, no one can resist me. Then no one will want to upset each other anymore. Why is that? Because that would mean upsetting me, and no one would want that. Perhaps that is one foolproof plan. I know! Brother? Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry, Pops. Just thinking. Well, whenever you finally feel like telling me what's going on in that skull of yours, I'll be right here to listen. Oh, thanks, Pops. Uh, do you want to say anything or just stand there? Well, I could do both, but I don't like to multitask. You caught me off guard with Frisk and Sans 2.0 over there. Technically, kiddo, he came first. Guess I'm actually Sans 2.0. Hey, don't interrupt me! One moment you want me to talk, another you don't. Gee, I'm so confused. Wow, haven't you gone sarcastic? That isn't you at all. Sorry, kiddo. Watching my family and friends die over and over has made me less chummy. I've tried to be more sensitive to the killers who started all this. I'd hate to upset you. Quit it! So what is it? You want to say something to me? Not really, no. Then why did you drag us over here? Because I think it's about time you say something. Me say something? What are you talking about? I mean, it's about time we hear your story. <laughs> My story? Oh, I see. You think by me talking my feelings out will get me to change? How noble of you, Sam! What a great person you are! Is that what you want me to say, you hypocrite? Uh, kid? I don't really get where you're going with this. Oh, of course you don't, Sam. But you will. After all, remember what you did to the other fallen children? <sighs> oh, hoping dear Papyrus didn't hear that? After all, he wouldn't want Papyrus knowing who you really are. Tell me, Sam, how much did my father pay you to help drag crying, beaten children to his feet? Enough to buy a house? 
enough to be set for life? And how the only thing that stopped you from doing the same thing to Frisk was a promise to some stranger through a damn door! When I came up the mountain, I wanted to end it. I knew that people who went up the mountain never returned. So I went up the mountain and then fell to what I thought was my death. Instead, I ended up as a part of a family. Mom, Dad, Azrael. For the first time in my life, I felt safe. I had people who really seemed to care about me. I thought monsters were better in every way to humans. I was even convinced that monsters deserve the surface, and the humans should just, just die off. I tried to make it happen, and I failed. I only regained any consciousness once Frisk came here. My soul had managed to exist beyond my death, somehow. It was fun, you know? Traveling with Frisk, making friends with everyone. But things had changed since I was alive. My parents separated, and... A tutu here, a pair of glasses there, and the evidence of six dead humans at the request of my father. Monsters were supposed to be above all that! Monsters were supposed to be better! Monsters weren't supposed to kill like humans do! So I wanted to make you suffer. You, Papyrus, everyone. How does it feel, Sam? Stop! I'll be honest with you, kid. I don't know how much more I can take. I ain't gonna deny nothing. Never been a good bag of bones. I don't know if I made good decisions or bad ones. I just wanted to give monsters a chance on the surface. I wanted to give Paps the chance to be free. I don't care if Paps knows. I just... I'm tired. Aren't you? Can't we just drop this for good? For real this time? Please, kiddo. I'm... I'm begging you here. Please, end it. All the effort it took to track me here. And all you can do to me is beg. Perhaps it's time to end this, Chara. No good is coming from this. End this? No good? You started this! You kept resetting! You killed them first! This all really started with you! I know. I am not avoiding blame. I did not have to agree with the recess. I did not have to hurt or kill anyone. Those were my choices. In the truth, the ability to reset time is a horrible thing to have. Having so much power over others, I stopped caring about how they feel, even though I cared about them. The desire to play with lives, to experience new outcomes, were too much. I've hurt a lot of people, some irreparably so. I deserve to be punished for it. But more than anything, I want to try and help fix this mess I made. I want to reset and get everyone to the surface. Then I'll never reset again. And I want you to be there, Chara. Humans and monsters aren't perfect, but I think most people try to be the best person they can be. And I want to see that side of them again. That side of you, too. I can't reset here, can I? Not in the traditional way, no. I've beat Sans before. I can still kill everyone here. No one can die here. You might have beat Sans before, but that was only one. Here, there are two. Do you think you can win without resetting on your side? Chara, bring me my body back. Let's play our game one last time. Let's get everyone to the surface and end this awful cycle for good. Okay, you're gonna make it worse, you know? Monsters think the surface is paradise. They won't be accepted by humanity. You're going to build up their hopes, just to crush them with how horrible reality can be. I guess that could happen, but as bad as people can be, I've seen a lot of good people too. I guess we'll see who will be right. I guess you will, Frisk. Just 
despite our differences, you were a good friend, a better person than I could ever be. Maybe, if I had met more people like you, just maybe. Take good care of them, Frisk. Do a better job than I could ever do. Kid? Chara? Chara? Fans! Okay, okay, kid. I got gotcha. you. I'm here. Kiddo, I don't know how to tell you this. Chara's soul. It's gone. What? Chara! Chara! We were supposed to do better together. Where did you go? You didn't have to do this! 